Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the GT Guard AI-15 Thermal Monocular. Uh, this is something that will be awesome for scanning a field if you're predator hunting. Uh, in the, obviously the pitch black, this will show you uh, heat signature. Uh, this will be perfect for that. It's super compact, lightweight. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we've got in here. This uh, device actually connects to an app that you can download through the App Store and you can view and access all the pictures or videos taken through this thermal right from your iPhone or Android. So let's go ahead and uh, unbox it. If you guys are wondering what this uh, stuff is on the floor right here, we're on like phase two of our house remodel. So like the upstairs is all ripped up and they put that on the carpet to walk in and out. So I'm sure that there'll be people that question what the heck that is on the carpet. So that's what that is. But let's go ahead and take this out of the box. Comes in a nice hard carrying case right here. So you've got good protection. Go ahead and unzip it. So you got a nice foam cutout for the monocular that fits right in there. Comes with a USB-C cord. Comes with a lanyard. A lens cleaning cloth. A soft case. And then your user's manual. So right here is the actual device. As you can see, it's super compact, uh, fits in your hand super easy. Here is your lens. And right here in the front is your USB input where you charge the device. Comes with a universal mounting uh, screw and bracket on the bottom. Obviously your eyepiece, which is your fine focus in the back right here. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this device. This is originally listed on the website at $699 and right now you can get it for $459. And it comes in two different colors. It comes in black, which is what this one is, or it comes in green. It comes with a one year warranty. It's got an eight time digital zoom. On a full battery charge, you can get up to 10 hours on this. Uh, it's got AI super resolution, which is 384 to 288. The built-in battery is a 3.7 volt, 4,000 mAh lithium ion battery. It's got 32 gigabyte uh, storage memory, uh, which would hold about 26 hours of video. It records audio as well as uh, video in high definition. It's got five different modes. You know, you got white hot, black hot, iron hot, red hot, and green hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this operates, how you turn it on and off and go through the different settings as well as zoom in and whatnot, so. So here's the device right here. And to turn it on, all you do is hold the power button for a second. And the device will turn on just I don't know how good you can see in there. Okay, so you can see the device is on. Let's actually turn this up so we can try to go through the different modes with you right here. You got white hot, blue hot, green hot, blue hot. Those are just flipping through the modes. It's hard, I can't really get the camera set up correctly to show you guys through here, but uh, that's just flipping through the different modes and then if you hold the mode button down it takes you to the settings portion where you can flip flip through all the different settings so I've been actually using the Hawkeye AI 15 for a few months now and I've got some uh, footage and pictures through this of deer and uh, different things out in the actual woods so, so after using this quite a bit and using the interface on the app the one thing that uh, my only gripe with this is that the the 
SD card, the 32 gigabyte SD card is built into the device, the memory's built in, so you can't remove the SD card and transport whatever videos or pictures you have onto a uh, computer or desktop or laptop or whatever. So it makes it kind of a pain because you can't actually plug a USB into this and then transport those images or videos from the USB straight to the desktop for some reason. It just doesn't show up. I don't understand why, but that makes it difficult to transport the video or pictures. You have to actually go through the interface on the app, download them on the app, then transform, transfer them onto whatever device. So if there's one thing that I don't like about that, uh, that about this is that. Uh, for most people, they don't really care about the video or pictures. They're, you know, they're just strictly using this as a tool to scan and look for heat signatures. They're not actually interested in, uh, you know, the videos. This is great, but for someone like me who does videos and stuff, I need a, an easier interface that I can just remove the SD card, plug it in, have access to the videos. So, like, this is kind of ridiculous how they created this for for that in my opinion but otherwise uh pretty awesome device if you're literally using it to scan for predators uh definitely something i would recommend overall it's really a pretty awesome device considering uh the cost of it a lot of similar uh thermals for scanning just like this will run you anywhere from 600 to 1200 dollars so with this, you're getting really essentially the same capabilities with something that you can actually get for a reasonable price at $459. So if you're interested in one of these, I'm going to put a link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you on the next one.